YouTube team keep it clean what's going on this scene Graven Hill with another video and big shout out to y'all thank you hope y'all enjoying your day your life and all that good stuff um me let me introduce myself for those of you who are not familiar me I'm Engraven Viz this is my YouTube channel Engraven Viz 2.0 and I have the pleasure and a lot of times the heartache of being a Ravens fan um, shout out to all y'all that came through and are leaving likes on the video already. Thank you. Make sure y'all leave a like on the video and let me know because we're about to talk about three different topics right now and maybe a little more. Now, I know these things already happened. This is not any news to anybody. They already happened hours ago. I was at work so I, and I, I was really busy so I couldn't take a break and step out and talk about it. But I said, you know what? I still do want to get a chance to talk to everybody about it. What's going on, Travis? What's going on, everybody in here? What's up, yo? What's good, homie? I guess me saying your name says, says what's up to you. Um, but anyway, Donovan, what's going on? But the Ravens, first and foremost, the Ravens, a couple days ago, which was kind of a surprise because if y'all are Ravens fans, then you already know anytime they cut somebody, they always say, well... There's a chance they could be back with us soon. There's a chance we could always bring them back. Uh, we're always looking to bring them back, blah, 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 blah. They say that about every single person they cut. What's going on, Abel? Um, and they said it for Elvis Dumaville because they cut him. They cut Elvis Dumaville. Older guy, he wasn't really providing a good pass rush, cut him. But then a couple of days ago, they brought him in for a visit. And I was like, Elvis Dumaville? What? He's visiting with the Ravens, I guess? Or are they going to be... Are they going to be making this a, a re reuniting the two? So I was kind of scratching my head on that. And then the thing that kind of bothered me about that is like, man, we just drafted all these pass rushes just to bring back Elvis Dumaville, who was a beast when he was healthy, who was a beast when he was a beast. But he ain't been such a beast recently. He ain't been such a beast. Um, and that kind of just... I was like, uh, I don't really like that move. I would, I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily against, or you know what, I was more against them, against it than for it for them bringing in Elvis Dumaville. Um, but because I'm like, man, we just drafted all these, all these pass rushes. We drafted defense. We 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 trying to tighten the ship on defense. Um, the offense needs some work too, but we trying to get right on defense and. Why are you? Why are we going backwards? I feel like Anquan Bolden would be backwards, and I feel like Elvis Dumaville would be backwards. But anyway, I was glad when they didn't sign him. But the 49ers decided, hey, you know what? We'll take him. We'll sign Elvis Dumaville. So the San Francisco 49ers signed Elvis Dumaville to like a two-year deal. Um, Shinobi said, what if they brought him in to give the young guys some tips? Let Terrell Suggs do that. He's still there. He's a, he'll be a Raven for life. He'll be able to retire a Raven. And Terrell Suggs, he still, I thought last year was going to be his last year, but he even brought it last year. He was balling last year. He didn't put up the great numbers and all that, but he's still doing his thing. Um, but yeah, Elvis Dumaville, I'm, I'm glad that 49ers got him. So to the, all the 49ers fans that's in here right now, if there are any, I'm not sure if there are any, I'm glad you guys got Elvis Dumaville. I hope he does great there. Have no ill will towards Dumaville. Oh, that rhymed too. That was nice. Um, but I have no ill will towards Elvis Dumaville, but I'm glad that he's out of there. I'm glad they picked him up and not us. How many career sacks does he have? I do not know that offhand. I have to ask Google. Me, I, I even had to, when I was first typing out the title of this video, um, his name is so tricky. Sometimes I think it's an E on the end, sometimes I don't. I had to make sure I Googled his name so I could spell it correctly on this video. Donovan said, it's going to be a weird year because we have no receiving. Alex Smith is throwing bombs. Oh, in OTAs, but not with Macklin. Um, Macklin, he might as well come to Baltimore. He might as well. He might as well. Uh, we good on defense, but offense needs work, especially that Pitta is hurt. Yeah, man. Um, but in other news, something that we as Ravens fans have been waiting for a long time for. A long time, especially me. Kyle Arrington has finally... Oh, shout out to the great Patriot because he finally came in here. Two years too late, but it happened. So better late than never. Shout out to Drake. Kyle Arrington is finally gone. We finally, finally, finally don't do not have to worry about seeing Kyle Arrington in a Baltimore jersey. 
Now, when Kyle Arrington first came on board, I was thinking, okay, we're getting Kyle Arrington. He's from New England. He was all right there. Even though all the New England fans told me, yo, they, they say engraving. Kyle Arrington, is, he's terrible. He's garbage. He can't, he, he ain't going to get the job done. He's not good at all. And I was like, ah, oh, well, maybe Ravens could do something with him. Sometimes some people just need a fresh start. And I was hoping that would be the case for Kyle Arrington. Apparently, he needed a lot more than a fresh start. And he can't get it in Baltimore. Um, he never showed any flashes of doing anything good while he played in Baltimore. Uh, he never made any big plays. He didn't. He was just, he was just bad. He was just bad. And... Every player that you sign is not going to be good. Every player that you sign is not going to hit it out the park, which is understandable, which is fine. And he was just one of those players. He didn't do good for us at all. Uh, so, water under the bridge is done. He's gone now. Finally. Finally, he's gone. I, when I saw that today, I was like, it was a quiet relief. Because with them keeping him on the roster so long, I was thinking, man, is this guy still going to be here? But it's kind of something that... We've been, expect we've been expecting him for the past two years, especially me. Um, the first year he did bad, I was like, oh, yeah, he's out of here. But then they kept him another year. Uh, last year, he was on injury reserve the whole time. Then I'm like, okay, off season when it's time to get that roster down, when, it's time to when they start making them cuts and stuff before free agency, I'm like, Arrington is out of here. But he stayed. He stayed. He was still there. But the thing about that, it was a whole thing with his injury and his uh, he had a concussion last year and... They couldn't cut him without giving him injury waiver, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, he's gone. Yo, what's good, homie? Said Kyle Arrington was a bust. Um, I don't know. I don't know what, what round he was drafted in, in uh, as a rookie. I don't know his history like that. Um, he's okay. He wasn't okay for Baltimore. He might have been okay in New England, but he wasn't okay in Baltimore. Um, but that's done. And now we, that chapter in our lives is over. Um, Kyle and I, again, another player, no ill will towards, um, they, he did technically fail a physical, but they knew he was going to fail a physical because he was still hurt. So, um, that gave us one, I believe it gave us 1 million in the cap room. At first they said it was 2.1 million in cap room that got cleared, but they had to, um, what's up Carter? Come on. You want to be in a live stream too? Okay. He went to go do push-ups, but anyway. Come here. Come here. But anyway, um, they had to pay him, uh, I think, 1.02 mil in the injury waiver or whatever. So, anyway, either way, Kyle Arrington in Baltimore is done, which is a great thing. Uh, now, we did pick up a corner. We picked up two corners, actually. One of them is a more familiar face, Brandon Boykin. The Steelers picked him up last year, but he didn't play it all for them because he got hurt. Uh, he was more... Before he was in on the Steelers, he was in Philadelphia. I mean, he was in Pennsylvania because he, he played for Philly before. Carter, why are you trolling me? Usually it's the people online that troll me, not my own, not my own son. Come here. You just feel like yelling right now, huh? Come here. Oh, he's... I guess he's thirsty because he's walking me to the fridge right now. Kyle Arrington, he saves us one meal. Um, but we need all the draft room we can get. I mean, not the draft room. We need all the cap room we can get. Uh, oh, he was undrafted. Okay. Well, that's well. he wasn't a bust then because he didn't get drafted. If he was undrafted, he wasn't a bust because he didn't get drafted... And he's been on multiple teams. Uh, was he on one of the New England Super Bowl teams? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, he's gone. But now we got Brandon Boykin. Now, for about Brandon Boykin, like I said, he played in Philly for a while. He was in Philly as an Eagle. Um, and like I said, Pittsburgh signed him last year, but he didn't really play. Brandon Boykin. I don't know much about Brandon Boykin. Um... Not even going to lie. I'm not going to try to act like, oh, yeah, I know all about Brandon Boykin. I know his history. I know his, all his interceptions. I know how he plays his technique, blah, blah, blah. I don't. I don't know anything about him. Um, so I don't know if he'll be an upgrade or a downgrade or be the same grade as Kyle Arrington. I don't know. I don't know what he'll be. So 
It's just a wait and see for me. We also signed some guy named Ijezin, the David Medina, something like that. I forgot his name. I was reading it earlier today. It's another cornerback. Um, TD Christian said, as a Steelers fan, he didn't play so. Can't even say anything about him. Well, there we go. So, and I don't, like I said, I didn't study him in Philly. I didn't, if I was an AFC, I mean, excuse me, an NFC East fan, then I would have been like, okay. I would have been like, oh, yeah, I know how he does this and does that, blah, blah, blah. Antonio said, these two new DBs are under the radar. Well, they're under the radar in the NFL, but in Baltimore, no cornerback is under the radar because you know as soon as we, we get them just as fast as we lose them. Yeah, not enough info. We don't... The second guy, he, they said he played for the Texans and somebody else. But they said he only played like six games last year. Um, and that doesn't scare me at all. Because I know he's, he's not a starter. He's not coming to Baltimore to be a starter. But he, they are both coming for depth. Um, they, oh, one thing I did read today. They said Brandon Boykin, most of his career, he's played the slot. So that's where he's probably going to be playing for. Um, oh, the other team was the Bears. Appreciate it, game plays. Thank you. Uh, but they, they said that Boykin played a lot of the slot. Um, and that's, man, I hate talking about Tavon Young because that dude was going to be great. That's what Tavon Young would have been playing. He would have been in a slot. Man, we would have had Jimmy Smith and either Brandon Carr or, um, or Humphrey. I, I think it would have been Brandon Carr and Jimmy Smith on the outside. And, and then, uh... Tavon Young in the slot. Yeah. Hold on, Carter stuck something under the fridge. One second, y'all. Oh, one second. Oh no, yeah, you put something in the fridge. Anyway, I'm on the floor right now, but we continue it. Um, we would have had a nice, a nice set of corners, man. Yeah, Ravens don't got that many, that much cap space. We would have had a nice set of corners, uh, and. One thing, a lot of Giants fans talk about, um, I mean, sorry, Cowboys fans, they talk about how Brandon Carr, he's not all that, and um, blah, blah, blah. He would always get beat over, over the top. But something that somebody mentioned was, uh, yeah, Carter's got to be better than Kyle Arrington. Something that, somebody, something that someone mentioned um, about, I already got you the milk. Here, put it back in the fridge. Look, it's right here. Look, it's right here. Let's get a straw. Put it back. Um, something that somebody mentioned about Brandon Carr. Because uh, everybody wants to bring up the whole Odell thing. and Odell did that to plenty of people. He did that to plenty of people. Can you hold the phone real quick somewhere? Open the milk. Can you hold the phone? Hold, it. hold this. Okay, he ain't holding it. I'm, I'm trying to put it on the stove. I'm trying to lean it up against something. That might work. There we go. Okay. So, one thing about Brandon Carr, and this is how real these live streams get. You are with me in the kitchen right now. I'm giving, giving Carter his milk while he's yelling at me. And doing a live stream on the Ravens. That's how we do it, man. Y'all are all in the home. Um. Anyway. Uh. Oh, something that people were saying about Brandon Carr. Uh, cause everybody likes to talk about the the catch, the Odell catch, the catch that made Odell Beckham Jr. famous. Wow, that catch was nice. That play was great. Um, Brandon Carr didn't have the safety help that he has. Uh, he didn't have the same safety help that he has in Baltimore, in Dallas. He didn't have the quality of safeties that he has right now in Dallas that he's gonna have in Baltimore. What's going on, Cedric? Yeah, Carr. Ain't, I don't think he's bad, man. He'll be fine. Um, and the thing about Carter that I like the most that a lot of people underrate, except Ravens fans, but something that they, a lot of people don't appreciate about Brandon Carr, the guy plays every single game. He's healthy. Ravens, as Ravens fans, we don't know that much about healthy cornerbacks. We don't know that much about a healthy secondary. We just don't because it doesn't happen to us. Um, but I'm excited about that. I'm excited about it. Uh, back in New, I mean, back in Dallas, he had with Barry Church. He had uh, I don't even know who the other safeties are over there. But they're not Eric Weddle and Tony Jefferson. No, no disrespect to them, but they're not those guys. 
Um, so I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to it. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm still hopeful about this season. I ain't give up on this season at all. A lot of these videos that I've been putting up about the Ravens have been negative because it's been a lot of bad news. Dennis Pitt getting hurt, done probably for his career. Devon Young getting hurt, most likely out for the year, or at least most of it. Uh, what's up, Tom Gold Brady? Do you think, Greg Hunter said, do you think Kennedy will do anything? I've been hearing them talk about Kennedy for a while now. Um, they've been talking, oh, yeah, he's been doing so good in OTAs, blah, blah, blah. I don't get into any of the OTA hype, especially had I been talking about Brashad Perryman, because I just, I don't care. I don't care. You're doing this in OTAs. There's no pads. You're doing this against your teammates who love you, who want you to help them. They don't want to hurt you. They're not trying to beat you. So there, there is competition, but there's not that real competition where somebody's on the other side of the field and they're trying to take you out. So all that OTA hype, I don't buy into that at all. I don't listen to it. I don't get hyped by it. When pe people have been hyping up Rashad Perryman for the past couple weeks, oh, he's making catch after catch after catch after catch after catch. Who cares? Who cares? May, let him when he does it. If he does it in preseason, and then he does it in a regular season, then I'll be on board. Until then, I wait. I'm gonna be patient and just wait. Got no choice. I'm not listening to all this OTA stuff because I'm not. I'm not getting caught up in all that hype because it's not. There ain't no point in getting caught up in it because uh, un unless it translates to the field in the regular season, then I'll then I'll be hyped. Then I'll be on board. And of course, I'm on board as a fan, but just not on board with the hype. I would like if they live up to all this hype that they've been getting in the uh, in OTAs. It ain't even preseason yet, and they're getting all this hype. But that's what football is about. We need something to talk about during the offseason. Tom Gold Brady said, low-key Macklin going to the Bills. He said, Shady's trying to convince Macklin to go to the Bills. They played together in Philly. That was a nice team they had, man. They had Jeremy Macklin, Deshaun Jackson, Shady McCoy. I'm excited for the preseason to show up if any of the young players break out. We'll see, man. Oh, but back to Kennedy. Kennedy was somebody, like they, like I said, they've been talking about him in the OTAs. And I just, they've been saying, oh, he's been covering good, blah, 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 blah. So we'll see. You finish? Thank you. So we'll see how he does in the regular season. Yeah, Deshaun Macklin and Shady, well, they were nasty. That was a nice little squad they had, man. Nice little squad. They were stacked. I thought they were going to do better than they did. I thought they were going to go a little further, like, in the playoffs and stuff, but it never worked out for them. Um, oh, all right, Donovan. Appreciate you coming through, man. Thank you for coming through. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Um, Who else? But, yeah, that's that. I mean, we'll see how this season goes. Oh, shout out to my boy, man. Iconic Freeze Gaming. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to this YouTube. I think Bolden wouldn't be a bad addition at around training camp, to be honest. I don't. I really don't want them to sign Bolden. I, I think I'm, I might be one of the only people in the world that's against them signing Bolden because I feel like it's them going backwards. Um, I talked about this a couple of days ago in a, in a random live stream, like they all are random. Um, I think that would be going backwards because he was on the Super Bowl team. That was five years ago. He was a beast now, and he's still solid, but it's just going backwards. You're signing a guy who's five years older. Yeah, he can still play. He can still catch and whatnot. But I just, I think you got to give other guys a shot. Give younger guys a shot. Worst case scenario, they don't work out. You draft. You draft. They got to stop this. Or not stop it because it's what works for them. But with Bolden, I just, get a younger guy, man. Get a younger guy. Look for somebody via trade. And I'm sure they may not, they may be doing that. They may be looking. So we'll see. But it is what it is. We'll see. Um... Justin Boyd said he working out. Okay, shout out to you, man. Keep lifting. What's going on, CG? Suzuki. How you doing, man? How is everything? I know you. I know we getting all this nasty, rainy weather. It's really annoying, man. It's been raining nonstop since like Saturday. Friday did it rain too? I think it rained Friday too. That Eagles team was one of the best teams not to win a Super Bowl. You might be right, man. Oh, he said I feel you on a Bolden thing. If what? Whoa. Something was flying in here. Um, Tom Gold Brady said, if Watkins stays healthy and Macklin signs with the Bills and stays healthy and McCoy performs like last season and Tyrod Taylor improves, that would be pretty good. That is a lot of uh, ands right there. He said, if Watkins stays healthy and Macklin signs with the Bills and stays healthy and McCoy performs like last season and Tyrod Taylor improves, then that would be good. You're riding on a lot of ands right there, so we'll see, man. 
We'll see. Once Ravens were eliminated from everything, Bills were the team that I wanted to try to make some noise, but we all know how that went. Dolphins took them out of it. And Dolphins pretty much wasted a playoff spot because they did absolutely nothing. And they got absolutely embarrassed by Pittsburgh. Macklin would be good. He just has to get healthy. True. J. Mack to Baltimore said, never said. Hey, we'll see, man. Bolden is too old. Gameplay said, he said we need to get younger. Greg Hunter said it was rumored we were trading for Inman in the Chargers. Do you think it would be a good move? Which receiver is that? But I, I don't know. I, I don't remember which, which receiver that is, so I can't say. Um, he said this weather is annoying right now down here. It sure is, man. <laughs> Never that said both a 50 year old man. Um, let's see, it's sunny here in can California. It's definitely not sunny over here though. It's definitely not sunny down here. I thought Tyrod was a good quarterback. Tyrod, I like Tyrod, man, but it's, it's a little bias in there because he played for the Ravens. And Ty, Ty, Tyrod is a Super Bowl winning quarterback. You know that, right? Tyrod Taylor is a Super Bowl winning quarterback. We can say that proudly. Joe Flacco is elite. What's going on, man? <laughs> I'm putting my finger on the phone, but it's not sh Oh, maybe because it's not in the camera. I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm touching the phone. I'm like, why is my finger not showing up on the screen? But it's because it's not right here. It's right here, not right here. Inman is underrated, say Justin Boyd. Okay. I don't know much about him, man. Tyrod is all right. Not elite. Oh, boy. There go that word again. That word that's so annoying. Ever since Joe Flacco won the Super Bowl, that has been probably the, the, the most annoying word in the world. Elite, 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 elite. Tyrod has more rings than the Bills franchise. Well, there we go. No, no, no. I'm in Florida, man. I really think Macklin will be a Raven by the end of the week. Keep picking between us, Arizona, and Buffalo, and we start in clearing up cap space today. Well, I mean, they cut Arrington, but they signed the cornerback, too. Um, so, I don't know. I will see, though. I didn't hear anything about him choosing between those teams because I'm not sure if anything was offered to him from those teams, but we'll see. This is, this is the type of receiver and the type of move that Ozzie Newsom is known for. This is the one that he usually makes that's, un, that's kind of under the radar. It's what people expect. But you hear all these rumors and say, oh, he should go to Baltimore to be a nice fit. And we, we usually don't hear anything uh, from the Ravens until it's actually solid. Um, that godson dude was good. Yeah, he was very good. Uh, y'all make sure, y'all if y'all didn't watch that video, y'all check it out. The last video that's right before this one. Um, versus God's son. That dude, that was a great game. Um, that was a great game. He had his team that was stacked from top to bottom. I had my team that stacked from about the middle to the end. Not the beginning, though. We ain't stacked all the way. Um, but that was a good game. Joe is elite. End of conversation. <coughs> yeah, play him, David. Play him. Definitely. Hit him up. He, I know he's down to play. Um... So, yeah, Falcons blew a 28-3 lead, and if Ravens can afford Macklin, that would be a great addition. We'll see. If, he said, if we don't sign Macklin, you think we'll trade for a wideout? I do. What's going on, Iron Mill Conrad? I, I think so. Um, somebody that I was thinking about was maybe Sammy Watkins. Um, he's at the end of his... Um, I, I watched some of that Madden game, David. Uh, Sammy Watkins, is. they said they're not going to pick up his fifth year on his option. So he'll be a free agent next year. So I th they're obviously not committed to him. I think he will be solid. He's more of a possession receiver. Um, he's, not, he's not fast. Um, he can make plays, but his problem is just staying healthy. So it will be a risk to trade for Sammy Watkins. I think if they can give up like maybe a fourth round, fifth round pick, um, Third is like, uh, I don't know about a third, but if, if I be down for anything fourth and after that. But he is definitely injury prone. Um, why don't you play in that tournament? I don't even know how to get into those tournaments. I, I guess you just got to keep playing and get your rank up in Madden. I don't know. Maybe. What position is expendable enough that we would trade for a wide receiver? Hmm. Running backs. I wouldn't want them to trade Terrence West. Kenneth Dixon ain't going nowhere. We got Danny Woodhead. They just signed him, so they're not going to trade him. Um, so no, not running back. We don't have any receivers to give away. Um, tight end, I don't think. You never know, though. Maybe tight end, maybe. Uh, can't we, we lose too many cornerbacks to give them away. Definitely not the safeties. Um, D-lineman, we already gave away Timmy Jernigan. 
Um, offensive lineman, we don't even know who's going to be a starter. <laughs> um, linebacker, we don't even know who's going to be the starters besides C.J. Mosley. <laughs> um, so it, tight end would be the only one, but we barely have extra tight ends. I mean, we got Nick Boyle, Darren Waller, Benjamin Watson, uh, Max Williams. So we got four tight ends. One of them may play some fullback. We'll see. Nick Boyle, Darren Waller, Benjamin Watson, and Max Williams. So, yeah, tight end would be the, the only position where it could possibly happen. Greg said, pretty sure Jarvis Landry is a free agent next year. I think he'd be an awesome signing. He would be, but Dolphins ain't going to let him go. Pitter didn't officially retire yet, but we're sure he will. Um, Crockett, oh, I forgot about Crockett Gilmore. Thank you. That's why I love these live streams because the stuff I forget about. So, yeah, there you go. Tight end. Tight end would be the position. Then. So Crockett Gilmore, Max Williams, Benjamin Watson, um, Nick Boyle, and Darren Waller. So we have five tight ends. And this conversation gets brought up every single year. Which ones are going to make the roster? So yeah, you're right. Tight end will be the position. Y'all need Ray Lewis back. No, we don't need Ray Lewis back. He was terrible the last year. You can look at the film too. He wasn't good. Um, the last year he played. Do you think the Ravens can trade for Keenan Allen since the Chargers drafted Mike Williams? Keenan Allen. I think he's coming off a big injury where he got injured for the year. That would be a nice pickup. If 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 it was for a low enough uh, draft pick or whatever the trade was for, then I I would I wouldn't be against that. A name to keep in mind is Devin Funches from Panthers. Oh yeah, that's another good one. Tall tall guy. Tall guy. That's one thing I like about uh, those some of them receivers. The possession was too when they tall. Where's Webb, the cornerback? He is our safety, and he might play some cornerback too this year. Uh, Tom Goldberg said I picked up Gilmore in fantasy two seasons ago, and he got hurt. Sorry, sorry. Liam, what's up, man? Do you think we signed Macklin? Said James Shepard. I think it's a possibility. It's a big possibility. Uh, what is the Eagles for Macklin? An X team. What do you mean, though? What is that? Do I play DraftKings? No, I don't. What's going on, Jay Money? How you doing, man? But yeah, I appreciate all y'all coming through. Make sure y'all leave a like on the video, too, man. Um, but yeah. Go? But yeah, I think... What if the Eagles get Macklin back? Oh, I don't see it happening because they just signed... Not Brandon Marshall. Alshon Jeffrey. There we go. I couldn't think of his name. They signed Alshon Jeffrey. They signed Torrey Smith. I don't think they'll get Jeremy Macklin, but hey, you never know. I'm good, Jay Money. Appreciate you asking. Um, what was I saying? Oh, but with, with our receiver situation, I would not be opposed to them getting somebody, um, but I, wouldn't, I also wouldn't be opposed to them letting these guys play, letting the young guys play. Because with our receivers, a lot of people talk about, oh, yeah, Ravens don't have any receivers. Ravens don't have any receivers. Um, Tom Brady. I know Joe Flacco's no Tom Brady, but I got to use him as an example. It's the quarterback that makes the receivers. It's the quarterback that makes the receivers. You could have 50,000 offensive weapons on your squad. And let me know if y'all disagree or let me know if I'm wrong. Feel free. But you can have fifty. You can have all the best weapons in the world on your squad, on your team. But if you do not have a quarterback who can make great decisions, who can make accurate throws, who can do their thing, then all those weapons will mean nothing. They won't mean a thing. And Joe Flacco has shown that he is not. He can't make. He cannot make receivers better. He needs people that are great to make him look better. And again, let me know if you think I'm wrong. Feel free. But Joe Flacco has proven that if he's proven that he cannot make a receiver better. And it's frustrating because even as frustrated as Carter is right now, y'all heard him just now. But if 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 you have to depend on having great weapons around you, that's a problem, man. That's a problem. If you do, he will throw interception and make check down. I do feel like if we add another wide out, you may delay the progression of Perryman. That's true, too. That's a very, 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 very great point. Iconic Freeze Gaming. And again, subscribe to his YouTube channel, too. Especially if you like Tekken, if you like Madden, if you like 
uh, what's that new basketball game? NBA Playgrounds 2. Subscribe to Iconic Freeze Gaming. Just click on him and subscribe to him. But and he's also a Ravens fan. Um, but yeah, that is a great possession. If you do add another receiver and you drop Bashar Perryman down on a depth chart, yeah, that does delay his progression because you dr you didn't draft this guy in the first round for no reason. So, hey. You also don't want Flacco throwing the ball more than 15, 20 times a game. Yeah, usually when Flacco has less passes, that's when we're doing great. But he is our quarterback, and this is a passing league, so we'll see, man. He said, just look at the Texans. They are a prime example. All the weapons in the world, no quarterback, no victory. What's going on, Kyle? How you doing, man? Yo, what's good, homie? Hopkins had five quarterbacks and was still great. Hopkins, you could throw the ball up in the air, and Hopkins would jump 20,000 feet in the air and go get it. Um, but I'm saying, the, was the offense great, though? Hopkins was fine, but was the offense great? There were a lot of passes. Even, even if you just watch one game from Brock Osweiler, he was, oh, he was so cringy to watch. I hate watching him. But if you just watch one game from Brock Osweiler, look how many times he misses Hopkins. Uh, Casey said, the Ravens' game plan is to build the defense this year and then worry about making the offense better next year. I wouldn't be surprised if they tank this year for a better draft pick. Could be right. Because they obviously are building that defense. You see it. You see it. Um, Joe Flacco, in my opinion, is decent QB. He's gone down since he won a Super Bowl. Okay, well, yeah, that's true. He See, the thing about Flacco is he's decent, but he's just so inconsistent. His inconsistencies are what frustrates us as Ravens fans and just frustrates fans of football, period. He has been really inconsistent, very inconsistent. Um, that's his problem. He can be good. He can be he can be good. He can have some great games where you say, Man, I, I hope this Flacco shows up next week. But then the next week be a whole completely different Flacco. And it won't be a better thing. So Tom Gold Brady said, I'm worried about our receiver situation because all the receivers we have right now, Brandon Cooks, Julian Edelman, Danny Amendola, Chris Hogan, 7 Eleven, Malcolm Mitchell, Cody Holston, Devin Lucian. See, y'all have a great problem. Y'all have too many receivers. That's a great problem to have. We, our top two receivers are very fast. Speed demons, too fast. But their hands are not reliable. Their hands are not consistent. Um, I think adding a wide receiver would be good, but I really want to see our young guys shine, man. Yeah, me too, Greg, I agree. Who is gonna be released? Tom Goldberg, you said about all them receivers on the Patriots. We'll see. What's up, Tic Tacs? How you doing, man? Ryan Ryan said his boy can gonna be our number two corner. No, starting should be Jimmy Smith and um, Brandon Carr. Marlon Humphrey, I don't see him starting yet, but you never know. My boy earlier said he thinks that um, he thinks that uh, Marlon Humphrey's gonna be the starter. He said he doesn't see Brandon Carr starting over, but we'll see. What's up, Carter? What's up? Why you gotta be so rude? Um, let's see, my fault, my fault. Travis Martin, what happened? Travis Martin asked, oh, I missed it now. The Ravens get Perryman. Yeah, they got him like three years ago. That awkward moment when Josh Gordon and DeAndre Hopkins both had 1,500 yards and quite a few TDs with Brian Hoyer QB. There it goes. Man. That's wow, that's an interesting stat right there. That's funny. Cedric said the Ravens better not tank. <laughs> we'll see, man. What can, is that good to be number two? I don't know about that. I don't know. Did you hear what happened a few months ago to Trevon Boykin? No, what happened? Colin Kaepernick deserves a starting spot. I don't know, man. I don't have anything against him. But, I mean, he is, uh, of course, a lot of teams ain't signing him because of the whole protesting thing, blah, blah, blah. Um, or whatever. We're having a Trevon Boink. What's going on, SSGSS? Do you think Max Williams will break out? We got no, he got no choice but to, man. Please be healthy. We, that's, a, that's the thing I ask for the most, man. It's just health. But we already losing that. Marlon, Marlon might start by midseason. We'll see, man. We'll see. All right, CJ. See you next time, man. Who do you think is taking over the number one receiver since Campanero's out? Oh, I forgot about him and his foot. The dude got hurt again last week. I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. Right now, it's Mike. 
Mike Wallace and um, Bashar Perryman. After that, you can just throw a bunch of receivers' name up in the air and pick one out randomly because I don't know anything after that. I don't know who it's going to be. Chris Moore but maybe could be a slot guy. The thing with Chris Moore, though, he's fresh. He drops so many, man. And maybe it's because you know how um, even when you play in street football, I'm not sure if this is the case for uh, organized football. I never played organized football. I only played street football. But how when you first get into a game, um, when you first get into a game and the quarterback might throw a pass your way and you drop it. Because you're first getting into the game. And you're like, man, I like that caught me off guard. I just, I wasn't ready. Or even if you don't drop it, it still might have caught you off guard. But once you, the, you, once you start catching a little more passes over and over, then you'll be like, okay, I'm used to it now. I'm in it. I'm feeling it. Let's go. That might be the case with Chris Moore because he wasn't in the games too much. Because he had a lot of drops. He had a lot of drops. And maybe it was because he wasn't comfortable. I don't know. I can't say. I don't think Josh Gordon will be reinstated. Uh, I don't think Boykin's going to be the number two corner. Rest in peace, Macklin, to the Ravens. Let's instead sign Brandon Boykin instead of letting Maurice Kennedy, who's gotten praise at OTA's bench. I don't think I don't think the Brandon Boykin sign, I don't think them signing him was, um, cancels out them possibly signing Macklin at all. I don't think it does anything to Maurice Kennedy. I think they were just signing him for depth because we lack in depth at cornerback right now. He got a he got a DUI and lost his job as oh the quarterback who was a backup as Seahawks yeah okay yeah I did hear about that I wonder why OBJ has been missing OTAs I don't think OBJ missing OTAs is a big deal because look what happens at all these OTAs all these guys getting hurt man all these guys getting hurt all these guys are getting hurt and it sucks Boykin is not gonna be number two let's be real it's funny off topic but when are you live streaming Madden? I, I live stream Madden randomly. I never, ever, ever schedule when I'm live streaming Madden because I never, ever know. If Boykin has a great season, will Tavon Young be benched? No. You think Falcons will make it back to the Super Bowl? Not, not this year. I don't see it. I, I don't see it. They, their team is stacked, though. They, they still got pretty much all their pieces. Matt Judon. I forgot about him. Haven't heard about him in a long time. He um he was looking good in preseason. Then in regular season, um of course he was in in the game inconsistently because he wasn't a starter. He was just a pass rusher. He can do his thing. I think if he gets a shot and actually gets PT playing time, then he'll be fine. I think so. Working five nine. Oh boy. Well, they said he was he was gonna be a slot. So we should start him. You talking about uh, Matt Judon? Mm hmm. OBJ is just giving away time. He can be at OTAs, getting his chemistry better with B. Marsh. He'll be fine, man. One thing about talent, if you got it, you got it, man. Straight up. If you got it, you got it. He'll be fine. Um, BJ, this is not... We don't, we don't do the promoting here. Can't do promoting here. That's not what this is about, man. Your channel is for your promotion. My channel is for me. If Ravens don't go to the playoffs this year, will Harbaugh be fired? Yeah, I thought he was going to be fired last year, to be honest. I really did. I thought Harbaugh was going to be gone last year. I, I completely expected him to be out of there. After that Steelers game, I thought he was gone for sure. And then after the Bengals game after that, because the team just didn't, you could tell they didn't care. You could tell they absolutely didn't care for nothing in that Bengals game. Last game of the season, they were just like, let's get it over with. We ain't making the playoffs. Season's over with. We're just out here playing for nothing right now. You could tell they didn't care. So, the people who wanted us to reach on the wide receiver in this draft seem to be silent now that the injuries on D are showing up. Hmm. Matt Judon is going to start opposite of Suggs. It's a possibility. I mean, we'll see. We will see. Anyway, I think I'm about to get off of here right now and play some Madden. Probably not stream it, but just play it. Um, Ryan, I think they may be trading for a wide receiver. I don't see anybody in the free agency who's worth it except Jeremy Macklin, but we'll see where he goes. Uh, what do you think about Elvis Dumaville? Oh, yeah, I talked about that earlier. Just re rewind this video to the very beginning. That's the first thing we talked about. Off topic with NBA Finals prediction. I said Cavaliers. I still said that I felt like they were a stronger team, but looking at these Warriors, man, they've been killing it. I still, I'm going to still say Cavaliers, though. I'm going to still get them a shot, even down 2 all. You know what they did last year. Um... Who do you think will start off instead of Suggs? I'm not sure. That's a good question, man. 
What matchup for the season are you most excited for? Anyone that they will win. I just want to have a winning season. I want to get to the playoffs and be able to have fun in the postseason watching my own team. Not having to just watch everybody else's team. Watching my own team. Um, do you think our running game will improve this year? I mean, it, it can't get no worse than it was last year, so it got no choice but to get better. Um, but all right, y'all. <laughs> Dude, sit on a scale of 7.5 to 343.7. What's your favorite letter in the alphabet? I think it will be O, because I'm out now. I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these live streams, because they are so random. And also, make sure you click that notification bell on your YouTube app, on your phone, on your computer, on your whatever, so you can get notified when these videos go live, so you don't gotta be like, oh, Engraven, I didn't know you, I didn't even know you were live. I'm, I, I missed it. You ain't even, have to, you don't even have to say that, cause you'll know, you'll know. But anyway, on a serious note, I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you ain't do it already. <laughs> he said, when news hits, we can expect Engraven to stream. That is very true. If it's not right as soon as it hits, then it'll be in that same day. That's pretty much a guarantee. But appreciate it. Thank you. I love all y'all. Thank you. I am gone. Oh, and shout out to Carter, too. Carter, say what's up. Carter. Say what's up. Say we out. Say we out. You want to dance and look at the camera now. Say bye. Say bye. Are you serious? Bye. Bye. He want to get in the camera. Watch this. Oh, never mind. He watching TV. He don't care about this anymore. All right, Carter. Me and Carter out. Appreciate y'all. And we going. Bye.